Hello, and thank you to the Women Project and Healthcare for America Now for hosting this important town hall to talk about how the Inflation Reduction Act is bringing down health care costs. For decades, the drug companies have taken advantage of every avenue to keep prices high, even on old medications. So it's no surprise that Family USA reports that nearly 3 in 10 American adults, about 80 million people, don't take required medicine because they simply can't afford to. The Inflation Reduction Act will put the brakes on this profiteering and help bring down prescription drug costs for Rhode Islanders. Under this law, the government will finally be allowed to directly negotiate lower drug prices for Medicaid beneficiaries, just as we have been able to do for years on behalf of millions of veterans through the VA. The Inflation Reduction Act also limits drug price increases to the rate of inflation for Medicare beneficiaries, and it caps out-of-pocket prescription drug costs for seniors at $2,000 per year and provides free vaccines for seniors. And starting in January, people enrolled in a Medicare prescription drug plan will not pay more than $35 per month for insulin. Lastly, the Inflation Reduction Act helps keep health insurance affordable for thousands of Rhode Islanders by extending the Affordable Care Act tax credits. And know that while the Inflation Reduction Act is making a real difference in bringing down costs, we have more work to do. And I'll keep fighting in Washington to make health care more affordable for Rhode Islanders. Thank you.